And, you know, the goodness in humanity here as people spent hours yesterday waiting in line to donate blood to those victims. Lots of people looking for a way to lend a hand in Las Vegas. New specialist Caitlin Birchall spoke to some Utahns that are here and found ways that they could help. Good afternoon, Lori. Yes, some six Utahns are here with boots on the ground helping the Red Cross after 59 people were killed at this festival grounds right behind me. We're told they're mostly working as mental health workers as well as shelter volunteers here in Clark County. Clark County has a 24-hour facility open. It's a family assistance and reunification center. There, they're helping loved ones who are still looking for family members, and they're helping them get the information while they wait. Red Cross volunteers, including Utahns, will even be sending volunteers. They'll be going to the airport and picking up families who are flying in who've lost loved ones. Mass casualties, unfortunately, are part of, our, of the Red Cross story. Obviously, we're very busy. We still have hurricane recovery. We were involved in, in uh, Mexico to some extent. So disaster response is kind of the big picture of the Red Cross. And nobody, no non-government agency really has the capacity to do what we do in this lane. And a bit of a side note here, but the Las Vegas Red Cross executive director is from Puerto Rico. She is there right now, stuck there, helping her family recover. So again, all these people pitching in amidst many different tragedies that are, had have occurred all over the world. And the Red Cross, as they mentioned, relies on your support, especially with volunteers. You can head to redcross.org to become part of their volunteer family. These folks will, um, they're in Puerto Rico, they're in Florida, they're in Texas, you name it. And as Lori mentioned earlier, many people want to donate blood. Uh, if you're in Utah, the blood won't necessarily come here, but it will be on storage for when we need it, whenever that may be. So they're asking you to go to redcrossblood.org. You can type in your zip code to find a location near you. Back to you. That's a really important point that Caitlin brings up is the fact that, that those blood supplies were depleted because yeah. of all of the surgeries and, and the trauma that was exactly. happening in Las Vegas. So what they're asking people to do now is to replace that yeah. so that it is on store, uh, in store for people who might need it in the future. They still need it every day, right? Yes, they do. Caitlin, thanks. Okay.